Porsche is a luxury. It's a car of rich people. The middle class can't afford it. But do you know that there is a story of a poor plumber son behind the Porsche empire? We're here to tell you about the man who created Porsche. This is the story of the legendary Ferdinand Porsche. Stay tuned to know the inspiring journey of a plumber's son. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this video today, we will talk about the story of the poor plumber's son who created Porsche. But before we start, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to get more videos like this. So let's take a look at his life and how it all began. In most businesses today, senior automotive engineers on average typically hold a PhD in engineering, but no graduation degree was listed on Ferdinand Porsche's resume. Even though he had a few honorary doctorates from the universities of Stuttgart and Vienna, he created his first automobile at the age of 23 using an electric hub motor that he had invented. Dr. Ferdinand Porsche is considered one of the most significant mechanical engineers of the 20th century, as every automobile enthusiast of any age from anywhere in the globe is aware. The Volkswagen Beetle, Auto Union Grand Prix vehicle designs, notably the P-Wagon, Project Racing Car, and the stunningly brilliant Porsche are what he is most famous for. His son and grandson continued to refine the designs of the Porsche. Amazingly, the innovator's incredible career also included designing military apparatus and vehicles. Dr. Porsche was an expert at everything he attempted, and his contributions to his professions are astounding for their creativity and breadth. The third child of Anna and Anton Porsche, Ferdinand Porsche, was born on September 3, 1875 in Moffersdorf, Austria, Germany, which is now a part of the Czech Republic. When he assisted his plumber father in his business at a young age, he was first exposed to the world of vehicles. Porsche attended the Imperial Technical School in Reichenberg as he grew up. After the passing of Ferdinand's older brother, Anton Porsche desired his son Ferdinand to take over the family company, which was a plumbing workshop. But Ferdinand had other passions. He became quite interested in electricity as a youth, but he finished the plumber apprenticeship to please his father. Anton struggled for a very long time to stop his kid from engaging in his interest. Anton saw his passion as nothing but nonsense. Ferdinand, therefore, created his own private laboratory in his parents' home so that he could experiment unrestrictedly. His family's home in Maffersdorf was the first to acquire electric lights and doorbells because of the tremendous rise in electrical knowledge. The bulk of Ferdinand Porsche's inventions throughout his career was eventually built on this dazzling talent and electrical background. He began working for Bella Egger Electrical in Vienna when he was 18 years old. In 1897, only a few years later, he created the electric wheel hub motor. This was undoubtedly a significant invention because Ferdinand Porsche eventually employed it in his very first automobile. Porsche joined Jacob Lohner and company in 1898. On June 26, 1898, the Egger Lohner car, his first creation for the company, was unveiled in Vienna. The P1 automobile had a cutting-edge powertrain, yet looked like a horse-drawn carriage. It competed in a car race in Berlin in September 1899, winning the gold medal in 18 minutes while setting an Austrian speed record of 56 kilometers per hour. Ferdinand's extremely small electric drive, which weighed 290 pounds and could produce up to 5 horsepower, briefly when in overloading mode, had a 3 horsepower output. The 12-speed controller on the P1 allowed it to reach a peak speed of 22 mph. He triumphed in 1900 on the Semmering circuit outside of Vienna. He even served as Archduke Franz Ferdinand's chauffeur in 1902 while serving as a foot soldier in the KUK reserve. He operated a design of his own. During during his first year at Hofwagen Fabrik Jacob Lohner & Company, Ferdinand Porsche created an electric wheel hub motor that subsequently powered the Lohner Porsche electric automobile displayed at the 1900 Paris World Fair. Amazingly, the vehicle's 300AH 44-cell 80-volt rechargeable battery provided a range of 30 miles between recharges. The Lohner Porsche was able to reach a top speed of 30 mph because of the electric motors installed in the hubs of the front wheels, which produced 1.8 kilowatts of power at 120 rpm. Direct drive and placement in the wheel were made possible by the electric motor's low speed, while noise and mechanical power loss were reduced by the absence of chains. The Lohner Porsche Mixed, the first hybrid vehicle, was built in 1903 using Porsche electric motor hubs. A Daimler internal combustion engine was used to charge the batteries. In 1903, Ferdinand Porsche wed Aloysia Johanna Chaos. The couple had two kids, Louise and Ferdinand Anton Ernst, also known as Ferry. Porsche began working at Austro Daimler as a lead designer in 1906. He created an automobile called Prince Henry 
in 1910. The car's 85 horsepower engine was quite strong. He was promoted to managing director in 1916. He left Ostro Dammler in 1923. He accepted a position as technical director at the German automaker Dammler Motoren Gelselschaft. After that, Porsche established an automobile design consultancy company in Stuttgart, Germany in 1931, after receiving financial backing. A handful of his old co-workers were employed by him. His first design endeavor was a middle-class automobile that the German company Wanderer was going to release. Porsche was also developing his own automobile ideas at the time. In a short period, he also established a subsidiary company called Hoschlingtung's Motor GmbH to produce racing automobiles. Ferdinand Porsche registered for a patent for the torsion bar suspension, an invention that ultimately changed the automobile industry. He did this eight months after establishing the Porsche firm in 1931. The most common automotive chassis designs at the time were based on the carriage building era's invention of protruding leaf springs. In addition to reducing rolling around bends and improving grip on uneven surfaces, the Porsche torsion bar suspension also saved weight and space. The torsion bar was initially used in the Porsche 356 sports vehicle, but later it was also used in the Type 550 racing car, several 718 models, and the legendary 911. The development of the German National Socialist Movement and Ferdinand Porsche's accomplishments are inextricably linked. Porsche did, in fact, relinquish his Czechoslovakian citizenship in 1934 and voluntarily joined the Nazi party and the SS, rising to the rank of Oberfuhrer. Adolf Hitler recruited Porsche in 1934 to create the renowned VW Beetle, which was called a people's automobile. In 1935, he produced two prototypes. He received German citizenship and membership in the National Socialist German Workers or Nazi Party two years later. Unbeknownst to most, Ferdinand Porsche created several military vehicles, including the VW Schwimmwagen, an amphibious VW Kubelwagen and the German Willys MB's counterpart. Porsche also supplied ideas for powerful military tanks to the Tiger program because of his expertise with electric drivetrains. Porsche started developing ideas for tanks in 1942, including the VK4501 aka Tiger. These tanks participated in World War II in 1943. You'll be astonished to know that Porsche even spent a year in prison after the war after being charged with war crimes. The majority of the hulls from his abandoned project were utilized for the Tiger P. Ferdinand, also known as the Elephant Tank Destroyer, even though only one Tiger P saw actual combat in 1944. The Porsche Type 205 Panzer Kampfwagen 8 Mouse, the largest completely enclosed armored battle vehicle ever constructed, was created by Ferdinand Porsche in 1944. He started making his own vehicle, the Porsche 356, in 1948. Later, the business was moved to Germany's Zuffenhausen. Porsche also played a significant part in the German automobile industry, working for Gottlieb Dammler's Stuttgart-based firm. However, owing to creative disagreements, Porsche was forced to leave Dammler Benz after the company combined with Carl Benz's company to establish Dammler Benz. Following that, Porsche collaborated with Auto Union, the business that would eventually become Audi. Ferdinand Porsche created the Mercedes-Benz Nürburg 460, the first Mercedes-Benz production vehicle with an eight-cylinder inline engine, while serving as technical director at Daimler benz AG. The business created the supercharged Porsche Type 22 in the 1930s, which won 32 out of 64 races and broke several records. Following a stroke, Porsche died suddenly on January 30, 1951. However, his company is still operated out of its Stuttgart headquarters and has grown to be a significant vehicle manufacturer recognized for its SUVs, sedans, and sports cars. Due to his sons and grandchildren's participation in the engineering business Ferdinand Porsche founded, the Porsche name has gained increased notoriety and prosperity. In 1966, Porsche entered the International Motorsports Hall of Fame. He received the Car Engineer of the Century Award three years later. He was even awarded honorary doctorates from two universities in Europe. What a journey it was. After all these years, Porsche still inspires us. This is a perfect story of rags to riches, isn't it? What do you think? We would love to know your thoughts. Tell us in the comments down below. That's it for the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more amazing business biographies. And we'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.